evening, junkies. Welcome to eminijunkie.com, your ass trading mentor's free trading video for Wednesday, June 8th, 2011. Today we had a total of eight executable trade signals for a max potential of 37 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only. It's intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eminijunkie.com. Okay, this morning, uh, pre-market, we actually had a high probability uh, pre-market uh, half gap trade set up that did fire right about uh, 913 and that did produce targets one and targets two to the upside for seven ticks. And then we opened up right around uh, 1282 and a quarter. And as we came down through our moving average, we actually had a signal to get short that produced targets one and targets two to the downside for seven ticks. That was a fast moving signal with an extension style of entry. At the 10 o'clock reversal time you can see this nice little V pattern I put in that threw us into another style of an extension entry. This time it didn't work out so well for us. We ended up not getting up to our second target, ended up taking a stop out so we ended up with a T1 minus 2 on that. Then there was a little back and forth price action here and we were actually starting to uh, wedge. I'm not sure if you're watching the uh, longer term charts or not, but we were starting to form kind of a wedge down here at the lower section. We had a signal to get short. Again, target one was hit, no no follow through to the downside, so we ended up with a uh, stop out T1 minus two, but there was another move to the upside, and this one uh, was when they started to uh, move outside of that wedge, and that did produce targets one and targets two for 13 ticks. That was a real nice trade. As we pushed up near 1287 we had a uh, longer term target at 1287 they kind of front ran that by a couple of ticks and then you again you can see the speed of this move it was a fast move to the downside they started breaking down that uh, keys us off for another extension entry came up to the bottom side of yesterday's low acted as resistance and then that did produce targets one and targets two for nine ticks as we headed into the lunchtime dead zone now the red area you see on my chart here starting at 1130 uh, that is what we call the dead zone. It lasts from 11.30 to 1.15. During this time, we just ignore any signals. We don't uh, start anything new. And right here towards the end of the day, there was actually, or the end of the lunch hour, there was actually a signal to get long. And it uh, it was a touch and no fill to its T2. But then the market came back down through its moving average. Again, a fast move. Uh, the extension didn't even uh, uh, pick up this first pullback. And it wasn't until... Uh, later in the trade that we had a signal to get short and uh, unfortunately for that one uh, the trade was almost done it didn't uh, it went down and made new lows but because of the size of that swing our targets were much longer we were not able to get that target we got stopped out as we came back up through our moving average and again a fast move it was uh, you know the volatility is picking up here but another extension targets one and targets to the upside for seven ticks as we went back up and hit the bottom side of yesterday's low before selling off into the uh, into the close. In a, and we call the area after three o'clock the shark tank. That's uh, and we uh, don't like sharks, so we stay away. So a uh, lot of activities last few days. Volatility is picking up. Uh, tomorrow you will have rollover. They will be going to the U contract on most charting platforms. We actually do not switch until the volume shifts, and we typically don't see a volume shift until Friday. Uh, but our numbers and all of our signals and things like that, they kind of get uh, discombobulated over these next two days, Thursday and Friday of this week, because volume is split between the two contracts. And so we uh, you know, suggest that maybe you take a couple days, enjoy a long weekend, come back Monday. But uh, the room will be open. We will be trading. We will be trading tomorrow, still on the M contract for most of the day keeping our eye on the volume shift and eventually switching to the U contract uh, by Friday. So all in all, great day. Eight trades, 37 ES ticks. I want to thank you for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or just simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks, and make it a great day.